we saw how mutexes work and uh, you know they're pretty much uh, you use them in the same way as a ref cell if you're in a if you're in a single uh, single thread anyway otherwise it's, it's really different but um, uh, you know I have a uh, a book struct again we're going to use a more you know real world example here and we have some uh, name and author with uh, with a mutex so let's just uh, quickly put together a book so we have a uh, mutex here so let's uh, the name will be uh, the crystal cave again and the uh, the name and the author is going to also be a mutex new and that will be Mary Stewart and then the uh, number sold I'm not sure but this was pretty popular uh, in the 70s I think or the 80s so uh, we'll say 100,000 so we have this um, actually let's put this in a mutex as well because we want to change that so mutex new there we go everything is in a mutex um, so there we go let's uh, so let's uh, let's see what happens uh, First, we'll just do the. Uh, we'll practice once more. We'll change the uh, change the name. So my book dot uh, name, and you remember with a uh, instead of borrow mute, you do you do lock. You try to get the lock. Uh, lock might work and it might not work. So you do an unwrap here because we know it's going to be fine. And we will say, let's see, name it will be the Hollow Hills was the next book after this one in this series so we will then print it out and make sure that uh, that we've made a successful change and try adding a comma which line is this there we go line six and there you go you can see it worked uh, the data is showing up because our mutex uh, it locked it, did a change, and then it died right away. It uh, it was dropped, so that is fine. So the next thing I wanted to show you is uh, mutex changer. Is you know what happens when when two things try to uh, try to change it at the same time. So my book author lock. So we have this uh, this mutex changer, uh, and then we'll call it one, and then two, and then you know the question is is it going to panic? And the answer is no. It's just going to wait here forever. And so that's the why the uh, the uh, the comparison to uh, there you go. You can see killed uh, timeout. So you know it tried it waited for a long time and then it just gave up. So that's why the uh, the idea of a mutex is somebody going into a room and locking the door is a uh, is a good one because uh, you can imagine this uh, this guy this guy is inside the room. And he's ready to change the uh, the data, and we just didn't tell him, um, you know, what to change. And then along comes the mutex changer too, and knocks on the door, and it's just waiting in front of the door to get access. But uh, mutex changer never unlocks it, and that's why you just kind of sit there forever. So with uh, mutex, that is why uh, that's why you have this method try lock, and this is you know the same as the uh, try uh try borrow mute with uh with a ref cell so we can say uh you know something like uh if let uh, okay we'll call this mutex equals uh let's see my book dot author dot try lock and so if uh if we get access then we will what are we going to do mute mutex so then we'll say mutex equals the hollow hills and uh, that should do it and then this will uh, let's print it out at the end Actually, let's use debug my book here we go um, all right let's see what it looks like at the end of that um, let's just use a print line instead my book and we don't have to worry about that that's uh, the thing about the debug macro um, sometimes it takes ownership so there you go we, you can see that uh, so we tried to we did a try lock and uh, 
because we have this mutex changer here, then uh, what happens is this, uh, this guy comes along and knocks on the door, gives it a try, gets an error, and then just walks away. And uh, nobody's, uh, nobody's freezing the program anymore. And you can get to the next line, uh, print line my book, and you can see the data is locked because uh, this mutex changer is still there. So if we do a standard mem drop mutex changer one, then uh, then this uh, this mutex changer one will go in, uh, lock the door, do nothing because we didn't tell it to do anything, and then we'll leave. And then along comes uh, this unnamed unnamed uh, variable. It's not even a variable. It tries to get in the door. Uh, gets in because uh, this is dropped and then goes in and changes it to the hollow heels and then uh, at the end uh, my book is now called uh, the hollow hills so then you can uh, and of course you can um, I just want to show one more thing so let's see for so mutex you can do like uh, my book dot uh, number sold uh, dot unwrap plus equals one. So if you want to like increase the number of uh, of books sold, you can uh, you can do this. And you uh, you see this happen a lot when you're doing multiple threads. Uh, you can't do it with just a mutex. I'll show you in a sec second how that works. Uh, forgot to lock before unwrapping. And you can see we have uh, you know used a mutex 100 times, and because we're not declaring a variable, you know nothing's freezing up, and so that is wonderful. And so you know up to now it looks basically the same as a ref cell, except for it doesn't panic. But the difference is you can send it between threads, and there's this interesting thing called an arc. And we're not going to do arc yet, but um, I just want to show you so that you can see why. You know why do you even have a mutex in the first place and it's because you can um you see this a lot arc new mutex new uh you see this in a lot of rust code because this is uh sending to another thread and an arc kind of keeps uh keeps track of the of the owners and it uh it's also um it means atomic reference counter so it keeps track of everything between threads and makes sure that uh that you know multiple threads aren't coming in and trying to change the data at the same time so this is uh, kind of the reason why you have a mutex in the first place because you start getting into multiple threads and you 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 wrap this number in a mutex then you wrap that mutex in an arc and then you're ready to you know make these threads and uh, and like use the full capabilities of your computer because you know your computer has all these uh, all these cores and they can work in parallel at the same time and so if you want to uh, have your code go really fast and make some really quick changes then uh, a, uh, a, a mutex with an arc around it is a, is a very common pattern so uh, we'll get into that when we start doing uh, multiple threads but that just uh, you know just to explain why why we're not just sticking with ref cells uh, mutexes are uh, safe to go between threads and that is why they are quite useful